Let me say a word now about energy. Now and all last fall, the chamber talked about how fortunate we are in the United States to have a third bucket to draw from to address our deficits and debt. The first bucket is spending. We've been talking about entitlement spending, defense spending. Um, the second bucket is revenue. And if you have to depend on just those two buckets, it's going to be a real long and difficult day. So we need a third bucket, and it's energy, which is the next priority that I'd like to discuss. Proceeding swiftly and responsibly to develop more American energy can help us immeasurably with our fiscal problems, but it can also do much more for our country. We have more oil, gas, and coal than any other country, and we are now the largest single natural gas producer in the world. We are now in a position to export liquefied natural gas and coal and thus reduce our trade deficit and bring billions of dollars to the United States. The abundance of affordable natural gas is attracting good manufacturing jobs back to America, particularly in the chemical and steel industry. All of this adds up to a lot of jobs, growth, improved national security, and more revenues for government. To achieve these benefits, we need to safely open up new land for exploration. We are foolishly locking away too much of our resources on land and off the coast that we should have access to. We need a predictable and fair regulatory environment. The federal government shouldn't pick the winners and losers or subject energy projects to endless and duplicate reviews. Such roadblocks have stymied vital projects like the Keystone XL pipeline, and it must be built. We should stop EPA's senseless and ideologically driven battle to ban the production and the use of coal. And we should continue with the next generation of nuclear power plants. And we should waste no time in pursuing research to develop alternative sources uh, such as wind, solar, geothermal, and efficiency. That's where we have led the world. By fully embracing America's energy opportunity, we can accelerate growth, create millions of new jobs, free ourselves from less than stable global suppliers, and create huge new revenues for government, which will help reduce our budget deficits. 